Hey uh, folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. This is our vanilla run, with no mods, no expansions. We're still in 1.3 at this time, and we've got a colony that's uh, going pretty well. We are currently researching the auto cannon turret. I think I'm going to research the uranium slug turret, just so we have all of our defensive options, but then we're going to go hardcore into ship research and see if we can snag a little bit of a victory over here. Um, anything... I should really get my... Oh, Vort and Honey, they are my two medics. Yeah, so they're carrying a medicine around all the time, just in case. Uh, I think this is vaguely okay-ish. Actually, I should really make sure, since I'm not overloading our various build queues the same way, I'm going to make sure only Honey, who is our best crafter, not by much, and she does plant and stuff, and I was hoping to, like, move... Although she doesn't have double pass, you know what? Okay, NG is only a, a one tick behind honey and has double passion. I'm going to make a little switch brew here and do that. Actually, disable that and disable that. Now, if honey has any projects currently underway, which I suspect she probably does, I'm going to get her to finish hers. Because as I found out, canceling a job wastes some of the material, which is really frustrating. So yeah, honey's actually in charge of most of this. I'm going to change these bills to do X time where X is one. Okay, work on whatever. Okay, yeah, finish your helmet. I mean, you do currently have the highest skill, which is good. So I'm gonna try to get Honey to finish her projects and then I'm just gonna have NG work on these. And I'll also do a check to see exactly how much uh, stuff everyone's got going on. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, what am I looking to do? I'm going to get rid of those two. I'm going to make a stockpile zone here. And another one here. And I'm going to set this one. Clear all. Critical for recon. Helmet. And this one here. Clear all. Critical. Recon. Armor. So I'll be able to spot right away if we've got some sitting around. That is actually done. So Honey has inspired surgery. I don't think we really care to do anything about that. We do have a mission for Bionics, but um, whoops. We are I keep hitting the wrong button. We are kind of due for the next major event. So even though we have a mission to raid a bandit camp for a bionic leg, I kinda wanna wait for the next major event now, because I don't want to send like eight people out and then get raided over here. Because yes, once our people leave, their wealth contribution will drop, but most of our wealth is still going to be here. So the raid is still going to be a little bit on the tougher side. So yeah, I want to chill on that. Yeah, I'm assuming someone's going to move it out. There was something else there a second ago, so it's kind of weird to me. There we go. That's cleaned up, which is great. Um, Our gun situation is... Sort of okay. Vort, I actually probably wouldn't mind. Uh, you've got the good chain shotgun. I could up. I could give you an assault rifle, which wouldn't be bad, since you'd have a skill of 10. And then I could just give this to someone else. Like, I guess... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I... Yeah, the normal assault rifle is probably not going to be much better than that. I was, You know what? I'll say it's good enough. I'm going to get you... To switch from the good uh, sh uh, chain shotgun to the normal assault rifle. Okay, you've got a good one. You've got an excellent one. You've got a normal one. So we'll equip you with that. There we go. That's going to have to be good enough. And yeah, we got some spare weapons. We could consider selling some of these if we get a war merchant, actually. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing stuff with them. These are just normal quality sniper rifles. Normal machine pistol. Oh, it's bio-coated as well. Hey, did I ever set up this to smelt things? Okay. I do. These are these are low quality, but I should also smelt weapons and apparel. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the non bio coated ones, but otherwise I don't care. Any quality, any whatever, um, non bio coated. So we're only going to go and smelt. If we get a bio coated one, because they don't sell for much either, we're just going to smelt them down for some raw, some raw materials. Not even that much of it, but technically it's there. Okay, Engie's working on that duster. Oh, yes, I have to keep forcing honey. Oh, you're attempting to recruit Sappy. I'll let you finish that. Inspired Taming. I could... I could tame Mega Sloth. 
I mean, I suppose we actually got some horses here. We could tame those instead of the uh, dromedaries, but it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. I mean, I guess he'll be happy if he gets, or she, I can't remember who, who got it. Uh, must be Darcy, that must be what that is, yeah. So she will be happy if she gets to tame something, I think, but I don't think I care in this case. All right, honey, what are you up to? You're smelting. I'm gonna get you to come over here and force this job because you're still working on just your project. Her priority on smithing is low. She shouldn't start a new project on her own because she should have just other things to do. Which is good. That's exactly what I want. I think she was working on a component as well. Yeah. But... I don't think that would end up happening. Is it a regular component? It's an advanced component. So I guess what I'd have to do is set this to a 7. I'm going to wait because I don't want someone else to start it right yet. But temporarily set it to a 7. Or, okay, hold on. Um, cancel this. Let me set it to a 4 still. And I guess I'll just set up a one-time job for this. For her to do. Okay. Um, research. Yeah, I'm just going to go. So now we've, we've got... Oh, no. I still need to research the aluminum slug turret. It'll just give us some defensive options. Go, 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 go. So, I'm sorry, it's not very exciting to babysit her, but I just want to make sure that we don't miss an opportunity to do the next thing. Her, your needs are okay. I need some recreation soon. Oh, it's about recreation time. So, yeah, finish this. Good stuff. And, uh, yeah, drop it off there. I'm going to reset you right now. And I'm just going to suspend this temporarily. So, yeah, you can do whatever. Yeah, you can go have fun. Do this. The recon armor is done. Yeah, hopefully you can get some, some higher quality ones at some point. Someone should go and auto-equip this, I think, but I can also force it. Might not be a bad idea with Darcy. Darcy is kind of our, maybe our chief fighter type person, although she is fighting at longer range. Uh, NG is our best shooter who is not shooting at very long range. So it actually feels to me like forcing you to wear the recon armor might be the best idea here. So yeah, button-down shirt, pants, recon armor. None of these are really contributing to arm. Like, the shirt and the pants won't be relevant for armor because the outer layer he is going to take it. And is it actually outer? So you can't wear a duster? Oh, it's middle and outer. So yeah, no dusters anymore. Well, we'll have to maybe adjust our tailoring bench. Actually, interesting question. NG, what's your temperature range? Oh, minus 29. That's quite good. Oh, yeah, lots of cold insulation. Okay, so I am going to... Yeah, not making parkas. We're not going to make any more dusters either. Just the pants and button-down shirt. And that is that. And you guys are set to... Yeah, we need at least 80%. You know what? If we don't have at least a normal one, keep working on it. So if we accidentally... If we make a poor or awful one, we'll just ignore it and not count it. Are we allowing all the materials for these? I think that's fine, actually. I don't think... I don't think here in vanilla we're really particularly saving anything else. I'd actually almost rather... Do I want to rather we prioritize stuff like that Devil Strand for these? It doesn't matter as much because it's if they're wearing... If they're wearing... um Yeah. If they are wearing um power armor, like the recon armor, then they aren't going to wear dusters and the armor on the rest of the clothes isn't going to matter. I suppose I might want to keep the duster around, but specifically for people who don't have the marine armor yet... I'll keep the, the duster job open. Um, only allowed ingredients. So this is specifically a job for Devil Strand dusters. And I'm going to make sure that no noob makes it. You need to be at least skill 10. But we're going to try to keep one Devil Strand duster in inventory. For the people who don't have power armor for some reason. Okay, I like that. Now, honey, you are taking a fine meal to inventory. I'll let you finish that. Uh, recruit Sappy. I guess I'll let you do that as well, since you are our negotiator here. How's that going with Sappy? That's still some resistance. Okay. Uh, cutting blocks. No, you're going to come over. How come I can't tell you to do this? Oh, because you literally don't have an enabled job. If I unsuspend this, then you're going to go. Yeah, you're going to go and finish this advanced component you started. And once you finish that, yeah, I'm going to turn off smithing. 
from your task. Just because of the author thing. There is a mod I like that removes the author on jobs here, um, which makes it a lot easier to have multiple people doing these things. All right, bill complete for that. So I'm going to remove this because it was just in there as a kind of a derpy joke anyway. I'm going to tell Honey not to do these. Crafting is fine because rock chunks and stuff is, is fine and fast and that's going to be okay. But yeah, Engie's basically going to be spending their time working over here. So we currently don't have any recon armor set up. Only one person's got it. We ideally want six more pieces, but I think we also want three more recon helmets which I might do that first because it covers their eyes, which normally wasn't there and it's cheaper as well. So I'll put three recon helmets, six recon armors in the queue. I mean, this is not a cheap construction. Honey, what do you... I'm sorry, is this considered crafting? I mean, it's the crafting skill. Is this not smithing? All right. Honey's got smithing, tailoring turned off, has crafting turned on. Not a sign. Hang on a sec. Cannot prioritize, not assigned to smithing. I wonder if there's still an old force job that was still enabled there. You should really not... Like, I can't tell you to do it. Why did you start doing it? I'm wondering if there was an old force job happening. I still had it prioritized, and so she was like, okay, maybe? That's weird. I might have to babysit you some more. All right, so we got Engie doing it. Engie technically had one level less of crafting, but he's got double passion, so he will learn it faster. Um, although potentially it's not that much faster, but the big thing with him it almost might be that he's doing yeah, burning passion for his work or her, her work. So NG is going to be quite happy working, doing this and will gain XP on this faster. And honestly, honey's got all sorts of other things that, uh, she can be staying busy with. So removing some of this workload from her is good. And this is really the thing NG should be specializing at. So that's going to be very nice. Still waiting for the next major event. I would love to go out and raid for that Bionic Leg, but I don't want to leave my base right now. I mean, maybe I could have... I, at this point, I could haven't gotten back since, you know, the start of this video or maybe last video. But this video, I don't know. It's it's so tight and it could have happened. All right, you guys are just passing by. That's fine. Nothing dramatic happening anywhere on the map. Nope, feels good. Okay. Okay. If we were playing with ideology, if we had a, the right ideology, we could uh, give NG the um, the crafter kind of role where they get plus one quality to all their crafts, which is amazing. It'd be great if NG got a um, inspi inspiration right now. I don't know what we'd do with it. The inspiration I'd probably rather use on a weapon than armor. It's not like we really need more weapons right now. I mean, more high quality weapons would always be better, but we actually do need the armor. So I guess we'd we'd accept an excellent or masterwork piece of armor, which is still better than the baseline. Don't get me wrong. Oh, a bunch of people are sleeping here. Oh, my bad. Okay, um, Darcy. And you're not married to anyone, are you? No. Okay, put Vort over here. And again, Vort, you're not married to anyone? Or lovers? Nope. Okay, done, done, done. So next we need uh, NG. Double check your relationship. Oh yeah, you do have a lover with Labray, who's currently over there as well. So I will set this to Labray. There you go, you guys can share a room together. Uh, maybe I should have given you a better room. that mediocre slightly impressive yeah hold on let me give labray and ng this room which i think used to be their old room it's better and then i don't remember who i kicked out darcy yeah darcy you can get this one i think that's the case i'll just keep an eye on those and we do have some statues kicking around uh there we go right here 
I guess I'll do this room first just to try to bring it up a little bit more from mediocre to at least slightly impressive. There you go. And then squint mode engage. I don't see another statue. We do have a job here. So yeah, Paolo. I think one of the things is when we recruit Sappy is they can take over cooking and Paolo could work on his art a little bit more. I mean, I don't think we want infinite art, but we'll probably, we'll get a few more statues for these extra rooms. It does add wealth, but it keeps our people much happier. I think that's gonna be important. I mean, look, look at these gaps. Like this is exactly the timing for Cassandra right around here. And yeah, sometimes Cassandra will send you two back to back, a couple of days in between. So we don't know if we're gonna get that. Most of the time she doesn't, but every now and again, she does. Um, Cassandra really does want to just murder you. That is her goal in life. Now, we, uh, our wealth hasn't really changed in a little while, which is good, especially considering we're actually getting tougher. Shaka supplies. Bion okay, so hold on. There's a bionic leg and a bionic arm. Yeah, we got four days left if we want to get this leg. But this would be the dumbest time to leave. I mean, maybe it's... Nine tribes people. It wouldn't be hard to kill them. And I believe Darcy's a transhumanist. Body modder. Yeah, so Darcy wants bionic body parts. And I think I would like the idea of her legs. We could place her scarred leg with that, get her moving around a lot more for hunting. It was going to be perfect. I should I should have gone earlier. I should have found a time earlier to do it. Because, yeah, I, I think leaving now would just be awful. A little bit of repairs. So I had been talking about building a room with some extra research labs, but I'm realizing now there's not that much to research. Although we might get a little bit of idlers from time to time. I still could build an extra room, I suppose. Um, I mean, we're not even farming here or here. We still have the grow zone, but do we do we even need this wind turbine? Uh, can I see? You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I bet you you guys are not in the home zone. Yeah, so you are not actually being repaired. Now, repairing just costs time, no resources. What I'm wondering about is the next time one of these guys gets a breakdown just not repair it just take it down rather than spend a component to rebuild it do that um i could just go and build another geothermal honestly the power situation is such that we could maybe we do so there was this one in the south again i keep looking because i keep thinking no surely i've missed a geothermal that's closer to our base but no we've got two over here and we got the one in the set well another one over here Maybe I should plan on going over here, because at least it's a similar area. Although I don't want to send people to the edge of the map right now. Ooh, that's a good point. Hold on. My area where people are currently working. Yeah, I need to... Because um, a raid could show up at the edge of the map. And if a person was working out here... You know what? Actually, we're going to do a lot of clearing here. I might not want them outside the walls. At all. I mean, that's less bad. But yeah, let me pull a bunch back over here. I could... I could allow more in, like, the middle of the map in case there's something relevant there. I don't think there is. I don't... I mean, I think I can do this and no one's actually going to do anything over here. But it's further away from the edge, so it's much less likely to cause us some problems. Oh! You're considering these to be things that we can chunk... I suppose we could, we could even put some um, some hall commands on those. I don't know if that's necessarily worthwhile. But yeah, they're like, oh, more marble. Because I do have these set to maintain... I, I'm, I'm going to drop these numbers, actually. I'm going to drop these back down to 200. Oh, there's even a little shortcut. There we go. A little bit of those around for construction. But that those jobs are effectively paused now. I mean, you still have a cut stone chunk. I guess you might have started it before we hit our limit. Hopefully Honey hasn't started any other construction projects over here. NG, NG, NG. Got a bunch of unfinished projects. Well, he's like me. He's like a game developer. But I think he started... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put these at the bottom. I'm just realizing. Because what's happening now is the second they start the recon armor or the helmet, they consume these and they stop that to work on the components. Um, which it's nice to have the components around, but it means we're, we're sitting on a lot of these unfinished jobs. In kind of a dumb way. So it looks like we finished the helmets. Uh, or did we? Did I miscount the recon harmlet jobs? Because Paolo's not wearing one. 
and they should be stored right over here. So I'm assuming I did not count that successfully. Okay. Oh, wait. Is there... That's not one game. Finish things, right? No, that's armor and components. Yeah, it would still show up over here. So I guess plus one that. Because yeah, I did three more. I guess there were four more helmets I needed? I don't know. Yeah, we get all of our noggins and faces and everything fixed up. That'll reduce the chance that we lose any more eyes. That's it's really annoying when that happens. Psychic key jobs are there. I did correctly set up the assignment where they drink it, yeah, every two days and only if they're too miserable. Because there's a chance that they get addicted. So I'd rather them not. But yeah, if your mood's under 50% and you haven't had Taikai tea for a bit, for two days, then go ahead and drink it. A psychic ship! Okay, well... And they've got a good number of pikemen. But you know what we have? Mortars. Now, shooting skill doesn't matter for mortars. Doesn't In default, it doesn't use anything like that. However, um, there's a mortar miss multiplier. Uh, like, you can see the shooting skill in here, but yeah, it's basically ignored. Um, the sight is kind of a big thing. But... Yeah, because, like, Darcy's one of our shooters. Yeah, so I don't think it matters who works these things. Darcy, you're not... Cleaning. You've got a chemical fascination, so you're waiting for that. I'll just grab some people who are awake. And just tell them to go ahead and man these turrets. They... There we go. There's the cooldown. Okay. So they're ready to go. They auto-fire at threats. Now, this is the minimum range. They can't fire within this. Um, the actual range of the entire map. They will auto-fire at things that um, seem threatening. Uh, but right now, these things are asleep, so they're not doing it. What I'm going to do is... I mean, set at least one to start firing here. These two, you guys can target that over here. I could target just the psychic part, ship itself. Um, and if it gets damaged too much, these things will engage and start to attack us. Now, when these guys are moving around, they're a lot harder to hit. So I actually am tempted to just target the psychic ship now. We did kill these guys, which is pretty good. But yeah, it's, it's very, very hard to hit these moving things because there's inaccuracy. You're mostly actually hoping that the inaccuracy of the mortar is inaccurate in the direction that they happen to be moving in. But we have three firing, which is pretty good rate. We have a lot of shells. Oh, sh oh no! Berg, what are you, what? What did, oh. I'd forgotten this. Also, this would have been too close anyway. Oh no. Oh no. And hit recruit and run. Now they should rubber band back here. Okay, Berg's got a little bit of cover. Still being shot. At some point they will just attack us. Okay. Whew. Oh man. I was like, why did they start moving? I didn't think things have been damaged that much. Okay, now that we trim this down a little bit, I think what I might do is I will just get these guys to target this. Hell, they might still accidentally hit one of these guys. Uh, but I think we can probably take them in the kill zone now. Yeah, they're trying to shoot this. They're trying to shoot this. They're trying to shoot this. They're still missing. They're still missing. I did not like mortars for a long time because I was so frustrated with them. And they're like, oh, and, and now you need mortar barrels and stuff. But I mean, they are they are pretty useful. Um, Darcy's one of the ones about to crack, yeah? Let me draft and undraft you, because I think you were work working the, the mortar here. And it doesn't help that you were getting this. Ah, uh, Darcy's got a tantrum. It's going to be bad, because we're about to be fighting these things. All right, that's done. Now they're going to go and assault. Oh, Darcy finished her tantrum already? Oh, that was quick. Okay. Well then. Is it because the drone went away? Or did you smash something? Oh, visitors! Interesting timing. I don't think the mechanoids are gonna go. If we'd gone inside, they might've gone for the visitors. But I don't think it's gonna matter. 
I think that might... I think that's it. Okay. What we're going to do here is we are going to... Um, allow everything. I will, and hopefully not forget this, I will unrestrict everyone for a little bit. So they can go and clean this up and things. How long do I have here? Two days. I'd like to give people a chance to rest here first, but if I'm going to get that bionic leg. 1.79 days. Okay. We're not going to bring Honey because she's a pacifist. Um, I'm not going to bring Paolo. He's one of our lower shooters as well. And I might not bring Darcy just because she just did have the break. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Um, so that's 1.3 days. There you go. We can lower it to 1.1 day travel time with the dromedaries. Um, bring 10 package survival meals because you'll eat those last. And bring 10 actual medicine with you. And actually, that's probably the way they were only bringing the herbals. Let me change this. Everyone can use industrial level. We'll make sure not to use Glitter World accidentally. Yeah, get the hell out of here as quick as you can. I think I only had five bedrolls, but it's not the end of the world. Here, I'm going to put a second statue in here. There's two people in here. Worth making them as happy as possible. Okay, go. Come on, assemble raid. Fine. I'm gonna just wake up honey in case and somehow assist with something. I'm just lingering no one's asleep. Oh! Engie's supposed to go. Engie was asleep. I missed that. There we go. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Now they're gonna have to sleep at least one time on the way. They actually might sleep as soon as they leave this, because it is night, but at least they're gonna be on the road and something can't like screw up and cancel them once they're out here. Now, again, it is possible that we get two back-to-back -back events, but it's less likely. And actually, right now, we get a little bit of help potentially from having these guys around. And that's handy. Okay, attack bandit camp, yes. So Honey and Paolo sitting around. Um, yeah, I guess we still want the hay coming in. That's gonna be okay. I guess I did set up this other bill here, right? To Yeah, if we get human meat or insect meat, it's all gonna be kibbleified immediately. Which has left us with how much kibble, actually? Yeah, 900 units of kibble. Oh, there we go. Resistance broken, so Sappy will join us soon. Great stuff. How's the map? Yeah, they're all sleeping out here. That's okay, though. That's all right. Hopefully we get there, we get a bionic leg for Darcy, which will make her very happy because she's a body modder. I think the more mods we do, the happier she'll get. We do have the other mission for the bionic arm. I can't remember if everyone's lost an arm. You can check their health here. It's just way less convenient. So then you got to click on here and then do... Th I guess we'd see someone with low manipulation would be an example. So Engie's got a uh, scratch on the left arm. We could consider replacing Engie's arm with a bionic arm, which give us more manipulation, which I think... I, I don't know if it increased the quality of the goods that Engie produces, but I believe it would at least make her do it faster, which is certainly not a bad thing. Um, I guess what we would do... Again, it's really annoying to, to do from this point of view, but uh, NG, we'd click on your eye, and then if we look at, like, craft or smith, well, there's speed. Yeah, that's construction success chance. Yeah, I don't think crafting actually gets a, um, changed by the... Yeah, I think it's just speed. Hang on. Construct, plant, butchery, mechanoid. Research. Wait, is there not a crafting? I mean, there's general work speed. Is crafting really not affected by anything? Not even quality, but not even speed. Still feel like I'm missing it, but I'm kind of feeling like that might be the case. Wow. All right. 
I know some things used to be in, and then were removed, and then some mods were re-adding some of those. I don't know if that's one of them. Yeah, go and dump that. So yeah, I don't know if we'd get much value out of giving NG uh, an arm. It does help for shooting, though. Manipulation is very important for shooting. So people who are important to our shooting game can get that. Bionic eyes. Yeah, if they had, like, twin bionic arms, twin bionic ar eyes. So high vision, high manipulation. I think that does make them even better at shooting. And then you can combo on some drugs at the top of that if you want, but... I don't think that's really part of our vibe. Sorry, I just wanted to close this. Hey, Sappy has joined. Okay, and they're almost there. So, yeah, Sappy. We need the standards over here. Yeah, I'll keep this both up so that we just take care of the, what's inside of our base quite quickly, which is nice. We could unlock, like, actual crafting for Paolo. But yeah, I think the idea is Paolo can art first, cook second. If there's art to do. And then Sappy, if there's nothing to cook, actually, we can give you a little research or construct because you're not terrible at it. We'll do something like that. Okay. You guys there yet? Nope, not yet. Okay. Um, Sappy, just in case you choose, like, a wrong bedroom. These are all assigned now, right? Yes. Uh, but this one isn't, so I'm just going to explicitly tell you to do this. I think they preferentially, preferentially grab bedrooms over barracks. But I was like, what if it's a proximity thing? But no, I think they do grab the bedrooms. I think our people are probably sleeping because it's nighttime. No, they're not. Like, I wouldn't actually have minded a rest right before. Because if they're tired and cranky, I guess I could have... There we go, resting using bedrolls. Let me give you this for a few hours. Um, yeah, see, there you go. Let's get their rest back up. Maybe give them a chance to eat a meal right before they get into a fight. As, oh, what's my timer at? 23 hours, no, we're good, 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 good. Excellent. I guess that's it, when it said two days, it was two days plus some hours. And then it says one, it's one day plus some hours. And then after that, it goes to, this is how many hours you've got left. Fob, could you eat something? I guess you're sleeping. Vanish. Ooh, yeah, no, no, let's not do that. And yeah, see, I can settle here and start a new colony. I would, probably would want to send them some supplies. Okay, there you go. That was pretty good. No more rest. So you got food. You got rest. We got a whole bunch of tribals over here. Um, but yeah, tribals are not too dangerous. Um, set up over here. Well, some of them might get repositioned a bit. We've got long-range tools to start engaging them. And any of them who decide to start running at us are going to run into our shotguns. Yeah, if they want to engage us long-range, we should be able to win. But yeah, some of them will run up. I could move up my shotgunners fat, uh, closer, but I knew some of them would be meleeers. Like, well, let's take care of the meleeers here like this first. Okay. Okay. Now, you're going to move up here. NG as well. Although, we might just shoot ourselves in the back of the head. Um, so, you know what? Let's move everyone up. We are taking some damage. And some of the bows, like the great bows, can actually be pretty deadly. There we go. They've broken. Oh, we could conceivably get a prisoner here. Um... Undergrounder doesn't work for us. Body modder might be fine. You do have... I don't really need a miner. No, I don't think we need this person. Finish them. Okay. Oh, Huntsman. Iron will, abrasive sucks. No, you know what? I don't think we need you either. Okay, let's do this. Uh, and let's leave. So, we're going to... Because I know we got some injuries. They'll be treated when we're on the road. So, yeah, we're not going to grab Huntsman. We're going to grab Psychic T. Not going to grab any dead bodies. A bunch of silver. I mean, we don't want things to take too long on the way back. This plate armor is worth quite a lot. We could consider selling it. Um, if I sell sort 
remove the category, just sort by market value. Yeah, okay, I think I'm fine with this. And we'll grab the smoke leaf and the pemmican. Yeah, which didn't add any movement time anyway. And yeah, it was a quest. Right? There's no buy. Well, there's, we'd see. Binoc would be super expensive. So yeah, we it's a, it was a quest reward, so we should get it here somewhere. Payment arrived. There it is. Excellent. So someone's gonna go and grab that. There we go. Thanks, Paolo. And then when Darcy gets back, we will satisfy her body martyr. M martyr, not not body martyr. That's something else that happens in her world. <laughs> body martyr need by giving her bionic leg, replacing her scarred one. She's gonna be very happy, and she's gonna run around the map faster. Which is nice for a hunter. Not that we're doing much hunting. But yeah, we're just going to try to keep her a little bit more pleased. Yeah, no reason to do these bedrooms right now. I mean, we still have this barracks here as an overflow if need be. It's not brilliant. And it is at least slightly impressive. That's, you know, that's something. Oh, honey could use some art. You know what? Oh, it's an excellent one. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll get them all at least the impressive thing. Now, one thing with barracks is while they're never going to be as happy in barracks, it does mean you can drop all the wealth in one room to make it impressive. Um, and while they still won't have as many pluses to their mood as if they were individual rooms, they'd still get a decent amount of pluses. And you wouldn't have to have, like, multiple high-value rooms. And it keeps your wealth a little bit more manageable. But okay, this dropped because our people left. You can see, though, like, it does, so our, the, if we had a raid now, it wouldn't be quite as bad. It would still suck, because we only had three people, well, we don't have really Palo to defend until Sappy joined. Speaking of Sappy, what's your shooting at? Nothing, really. Do we have a chuck gun for you? We do have a chuck gun. So grab that, please. There we go. We did get hit by mechanoids again, the MP rifles on Sappy, or EMP grenades on Sappy wouldn't be a bad choice. Yeah, there's a lot about the start that wasn't ideal. We didn't have rich terrain right next to us, although this wasn't too far. The geysers being far was a big pain in the butt. There you go. Yeah, you're resting now. One of the mods I like, um, I think it's called Almost There. And if they're within a few hours from the base, like, I think by default it's set to, like, three hours, but you can change it. Then, like, just keep going. Like, you're almost there. Why don't you sleep at home in your own bed? But that'll have to be okay. Minor break risk on Sappy. Why are you so miserable? Oh, you're actually going to be perfectly fine once you're awake. You got an impressive bedroom. It's actually impressive? Oh, it's somewhat impressive. Yeah, so we can get more perks, but I'm happy you're happy. NG, 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 NG. Yeah. I did change it for the components to be lower down. It's a weird to me, but I guess it's much this was started beforehand. Or I guess, yeah, right, you started the extra helmet. That's why you have all four projects on the go. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be a lot saner in the future. Well, I guess with the caravan coming home, it's time for us to put another cut in here. But hey, look at that. We've got Sappy. And yeah, we'll arrange a operation for Darcy. Um, I can't remember. I think the Honey's our actual best medic, but there we go. I was going to say, let's wait until they get back. Yeah, it is Honey. She's got a 13, which is pretty good. You're not stoned or anything? You are high on Psychite T. But again, it doesn't affect the consciousness, which... Sh wow, I should have been doing the Psychite T thing a million years ago. Because I was giving people smoke leave because it's not really addictive and there's not really an OD chance. Um, but it does lower the consciousness. So, yeah, I guess right away I could say, listen, Darcy, you've got that left leg problem. It's been bothering you for a while. I understand. Install bionic leg, left leg. Make sure you do the correct leg. Left and left. There you go. So, Darcy is going to settle in for an operation. We're going to find out the result of that next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you soon. Bye-bye.